In this course, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a website using Bootstrap. Now, Bootstrap is the most popular HTML, CSS, and JavaScript framework for developing responsive, mobile-first websites. So just as mentioned here on their website, and in order to get Bootstrap, it's really easy to do. And to add it into your web projects, it's really easy to add Bootstrap into your web projects. So essentially what Bootstrap does is it allows you to use a set of predefined CSS styling classes in order to create your website and create it so that it's responsive as well. And it also comes with some predefined JavaScript functions and you can utilize those within your code as well. So in order to get started with Bootstrap, you can go over to their website. It's called getbootstrap.com. So this is the main central repository. They also have a GitHub repository here, uh, so you can access it and find out more information about Bootstrap. So Bootstrap is free, open source. Uh, you can use it within your web projects. You can link to the CDNs or you could download the source files in order to get it installed and set up on your web pages. So there are a few options for setting it up within your web projects. So if you wanted to download it, you can go ahead and download all of the source files. And what you really only need to get started with Bootstrap is that CSS library. So go ahead to either to download it, or I'm gonna show you another really quick way to get started with Bootstrap. So there's a few options here when you click the get started option, you've got that first option again to either to download Bootstrap. So this is compiled in minified CSS and JavaScript and fonts. So all of it is self-contained. And if you're working on your local machine and if you don't have an internet connection, then you can still get access to the Bootstrap files as long as they're downloaded on your system and you're linking to them. And the other way is to, uh, to use SAS. So SAS is for more advanced users and you need a compiler for that and it allows you to actually customize that bootstrap code. So what I'm going to be showing you within this course is we're going to link to the default bootstrap library. So that's going to be just this one bootstrap.css file and we're going to create a separate style sheet in order to customize our bootstrap install. And this is going to be the quickest and easiest way to get started with Bootstrap. So just go ahead and select that CDN. And what a CDN essentially is, this is a shared library. So we can bring Bootstrap into our web projects just by linking to that shared library and bringing that into our projects. Uh, there's a number of different ways to link to it. There's several different CDNs. So probably one of the, this is probably one of the most popular ones, the bootstrapcdn.com. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that, bring it over to my web project, paste it. Actually, that's all there is really to bring Bootstrap into your web project. And besides this, they also do have uh, they've got all of the information here, what's within the compiled Bootstrap, how Bootstrap is set up with all the different folders, directories, and there's some more information here if you're compiling your CSS and JavaScript. So a number of different ways to bring Bootstrap into your projects as well. So you can use Grunt and you can use packaging in order to bring through Bootstrap. Uh, so down here at the bottom, they also have a basic template. So this is just a really good basic default HTML template. So again, linking over to that CDN file. So you see if you just copy this, uh, paste it into your website. So I've just created a blank HTML page and now I've just copied this in and saved it. And then I go out to my web page and if I go out and if I refresh it, we're gonna see that now we've got Bootstrap installed and we've got our first uh, HTML code there showing up and in the next lesson we're going to be taking you through how to customize this bootstrap code and turn it into a website. It's just as easy as that to get this starting basic template to start off creating your projects in bootstrap.